COVID-19 ultimately stole this 70-year-old's life. But tonight, police say it was a frontline worker at the Staten Island Hospital who stole the credit card right from his wallet. News 4's Rabietta kicks off our team coverage tonight with the family's message to the nurse who now faces criminal charges. Stephen, tonight a daughter is heartbroken. Not only did she lose her father to COVID-19, but a woman charged with taking care of him, a nurse, is now charged with stealing from him while he lay in his hospital bed. My father was amazing. Tara Catapano is mourning. Her 70-year-old father, Anthony, died a victim of COVID-19. He passed away April 12th, Easter morning. He was the best father. He was just an all-around good guy. As if that heartbreak isn't enough, living in the epicenter of the COVID crisis, Tara noticed something odd when she picked up her father's belongings. His cell phone, his eyeglasses, um, cash that he had on him, a buzzer, um, a picture, you know, those things were missing. And something even stranger when she got his credit card bill. While he was in the COVID ward at Staten Island University Hospital, his credit card was used at a gas station and at a nearby shop right. Totaling about $60. And I look at the date and it's April 9th. My father was hospitalized from April 4th to April 12th when he passed away. She started making calls, reaching out to police, to the hospital. This morning she got a call. His nurse, 43 year old Danielle Conti, charged with stealing from the dying man. He could have been awake. He could have seen her actually do this. And, you know, for my father to feel so helpless in a situation like that absolutely breaks my heart. A nurse charged with her father's care during his most vulnerable moment, now charged with stealing from him. I took him to the hospital to be safe and to be cared for, and instead he was taken advantage of. I hope that she loses her job. I hope that she loses her license, and I hope that they lock her up. Staten Island University Hospital said in a statement that the nurse has been suspended and faces termination for the felony charges. The hospital working with police on the investigation. Conti, the nurse, she's been with the hospital since 2007. Reporting live, I'm Ray Vieta, News 4, New York.